I'm very pleased to report a strong operating and financial results for the half year. This result show the hard work that has been done by so many to improve the fundamentals of our business, to drive productivity benefits, and to manage costs. Most of our tier one assets recorded a solid performance driven both by higher tons and higher grades mined. At the tier two mines, we continue to drive full potential initiatives to enhance asset performance. Now that we're well into the full potential execution, we have seen our costs trend lower. We are the only gold major that has reported so far to post an improvement in cash costs at the half. That means that we're able to capture the benefit of stronger gold prices. Revenues up more than $400 million on year, all of which has flowed directly into the bottom line. We're building a strong operating momentum into the second half, when we expect to deliver not only further production and cost improvements, but significantly stronger cash flows. Really strong financial performance for the first half. The average gold price received was up 14% year on year. Adjusted EBITDA of 1.12 billion was up 65% year on year. Again, well ahead of the higher price and on the back of higher ounces sold and lower operating costs. Headline earnings of 313 million or 74 US cents per share were well up compared to 61 million or 41 cents per share in the first half of last year. This improvement more than 400% was due to the strong operational performance offset by one-offs with the realized hedging loss and additional decharacterization costs for the active closure management at both CDS and MSG. Total capital increased by 11% and this is in line with our internal plans, resulting in free cash flow of 206 million against a prior year outflow of 205 million. Free cash flow before growth capital expenditure, the metric on which dividend payment is based, was 337 million, a near fivefold increase year on year. Given our robust financial performance and the confidence we have in our ongoing performance for the second half, we declared an interim dividend of 22 cents per share, which equates to a payout ratio of 27% in line with our policy minimum 